Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a cool feature of the beta PlayStation Core for the Mr. FPGA. This is the widescreen hack feature. What this does is convert the game that you are playing into native widescreen without stretching the image. So you actually get a larger field of view when the option is enabled. Let me show you a comparison to illustrate what I mean. Here I have the game driver running in regular 4x3 mode at the top and with the widescreen hack at the bottom. If you look closely, you can see that the bottom capture is not stretched, but shows you more of the surrounding area that is not visible at the top capture. I'll pause it right here. If you look at the bottom widescreen capture, you can see the entire back of the car and most of the front. That is not the case with the top capture, where the front and back of the car are cut off. The easy way to fill a 4x3 game into a widescreen area is to stretch the image. When I do that to the top capture, the car is now looking skinnier and the back of the car is still cut off. So like I mentioned before, this widescreen hack lets you see more of your surroundings, giving you a wider field of view. It doesn't work for every game and some of the games that it works with will have graphical glitches like you can see here in Driver. But it totally changes the experience if you're playing the game on a modern 16x9 screen. So let me show you how to enable this. If you don't have the PlayStation Core installed, check out the description for a video I created on how to install it. So when you have the PlayStation Core loaded, bring up the PlayStation Core menu, scroll down to Video and Audio, and select it. Then scroll down to widescreen hack and turn it on and you're done. Here is just stretching the BIOS menu, but you'll have to load a game to see if it works for that specific game. Time to test some games then. I loaded up Crash Bandicoot and when I enabled the widescreen hack, it works, but apparently the game doesn't render out polygons far enough to fill the widescreen area, most likely because the developer wanted to keep a good frame rate. This widescreen hack depends on the game rendering the area outside of what you would see in a 4x3 screen. Here is Driver again. And in this scene, when I enable the widescreen hack, a garbage bin appears on the right. When widescreen is disabled, it no longer shows up. The widescreen hack also works with Einhander, but your ship cannot move outside the bounds of the 4x3 area in the middle. I also had success with Gran Turismo. When I turn on widescreen, you can see the Mitsubishi text on the right start to appear, confirming that it works. While playing the game, there are some graphical glitches though. And here are some games that do not work so well. On this scene in Return Fire, you can tell that widescreen is not working because when I turn it on, more trees should be appearing on the left side of the screen. So the output of the game is just being stretched here. With Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the important foreground 2D area is not in widescreen but stretched out. However, 3D backgrounds do appear in widescreen. When I turn it on, you are able to see more of the clock tower in the background. So that's a quick look at the widescreen feature for the beta PlayStation Core. Let me know if you tried it out and what games worked well for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, Hit the subscribe button and it's bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.